So in this video, I'm gonna share with you how to sell your home in three months or less. Three months may sound very, very quick, but it definitely can be done. And here's how. So there are two things that sell a home quickly. The first one is going to be really, really strong marketing, really strong photos, videos, marketing campaigns that can get your home in front of as many people as possible. The second thing is going to be a low price. I don't wanna lose you just yet. That does not mean that you are going to leave money on the table. So if you're familiar with me, you might've seen the video I did on a three tier pricing strategy that my team uses to sell homes. And in that strategy, we talk about a high price, a medium price, and a low price. In this video, we're gonna talk about the low pricing strategy. Like I said, this doesn't always mean that you're leaving money on the table. So the low tier pricing strategy is basically just pricing your home a little bit under market value to create a bidding war effect. So this can work in a buyer's or a seller's market because there are always going to be bidding wars on well-priced homes. That's just how the market is. Going with the lower price is always going to guarantee that your home sells quickly. Now, you might be thinking, okay, Lauren, so what if I put my home for sale with that low price and then I don't get a bidding war? So this means with the right marketing strategy and that low price, if your home does not get a bidding war at that point, that means that that's actually not the low number for your home. That's probably more so the average number for your home. So you might be getting an average amount of showings and maybe an offer or two could be below the listing price or maybe right around there. Now you may be getting an offer or two probably below list price if that. I would say with the low pricing strategy, if it is the actual low number for where the market is right now, you will create some type of bidding war effect where multiple buyers are gonna be interested in the home. Whenever there's a bidding war, you are always going to drive the price up. And what typically happens in this situation is that even though you started at a lower number, the bidding war drives the price up higher than where the average number was originally. So this is why I love this strategy so much because it may seem a little risky in the beginning, but at the same time, what you're going to do if the number is priced right is you're gonna actually drive the price up and you're gonna make more money than if you actually sold at the average number price. So that is how the low pricing strategy works. And I know it sounds scary, but it is used to make people more money. And also on top of that, to sell homes quicker because whenever there's a bidding war, things are gonna happen fast. People always want what they can't have. And that's why this strategy works so well. So this is the strategy that we use if we know that one of our clients needs to sell their home very, very quickly. And also if a homeowner wants to maximize how much money they make, like I said, this strategy works so well too. And you just happen to sell the home quicker. And who doesn't want that, honestly? So I hope this helped you figure out how you can sell your home in less than three months. Now, I would love to know, have you ever tried this strategy or even have gotten into a bidding war yourself? I love hearing your stories in the comments because I really do think that it helps our community. And as always, I just love hearing from you guys.